maintenance and cutting with a Fletcher 2200 mat cutter. Main thing we're going to focus on is adjusting this arm to ensure it is parallel to your cutting bar. You'll need the two squaring legs here, an Allen screw, and a Phillips screwdriver. Dropping in place so it's engaged here. Again, push the arm up so it's flush. Tighten, and then come down to see if it is snug and tight here. And we have a little bit of play. So that tells me right now that our cut is gonna flare out ever so slightly. Take our Allen screw. You're going to loosen inside this channel here we have two locking screws one there at the front and one there we're going to loosen that just a little holding onto the arm here we adjust and bring it up so that it is tight ensuring that this is not locked you need this arm here to be moving up and down freely. So you still have a little bit of play there, so we need to move that arm just a little bit more so it's snug and tight to the top. Again, loosen the screw, and then pulling on this arm this direction will torque this towards the arm. If it was too tight, you would push this away and open up this space. So that is snug. So now we will disengage, pull that back. You can now do a test cut as well. And this test cut will do two things. It'll let you know if you are square and also if you have an accurate reading on this measurement guide here. So we're gonna set this to two inches. Slide our mat board in. So we have a nice clean piece of mat board that is sitting flush to here. Drop that in, and I'm just gonna score an entire strip off. That is cut through. Take that out. Now we can do two things. One is measure to see where we're at. Actually seeing this a hair under two, not quite a sixteenth. And I'm seeing it exactly at two at this end. So that tells me right now actually that we have a measurement here that is a little bit tighter than it is at this end. Now taking that long strip, a mat board, you can lift, fold it, and also line them up. And that also lets you see that we have it off a little bit. So that tells us we need to do an adjustment. End of part one.